everybody, it's Rude, welcome back. And also, welcome to my next Let's Play, which is Resident Evil Revelations, or the PlayStation 3. Just to let y'all know, I have not beaten this game, so it is still like a blind Let's Play at the same time. I've only went up to around 3 chapters, which was only like 10 minutes. This game is not very long, but if you really don't know what the hell you're doing, you are going to be on this for a while, just to let y'all know. But either way, we're starting this, so this is going to be like a semi or a half blind let's play on Resident Evil Revelations. I really don't know much, I only went up to like 3 chapters like I said, so it's not that, it's not that far into the game. Also, I am doing this because Resident Evil Revelation is set to come out next year and I actually want to get a couple of Resident Evil games out of the way or under my belt on my channel. And I will not be doing, I may or may not do a let's play on Resident Evil 6. Because Resident Evil 6 kind of sucks. Not gonna lie, it was good for them to add action in the game more, but believe me, Resident Evil 6 sucks ass. Hopefully they get it right with Resident Evil 7. But side games like the pre-sequels and all that, like Resident Evil Revelations and Revelations 2 that's coming out next year for the PlayStation 4 and the Xbox One, those actually really, really, really brought back Resident Evil. And I'm happy they made a HD remake for Resident Evil Revelations. Either way, either way, enough of me blabbering, let's hop into it. Resident also, Evil when y'all see this, most likely it will be either a Wednesday or a Thursday. It will probably be around um, the 24th or the 25th, because I finished my Jet Set Radio Let's Play like about two weeks ago. It was around the 6th or the 7th, I think. I don't know. But you'll see it. Okay, we'll not be able to access the okay. cake. Yeah, sign off PSN because I don't want people signing on, on and sending me messages and crap. <clears throat> Just in preparation for Revelations 2. Second mm -mm -mm. downloadable content. Now we are going to do campaign. We'll start a whole new game. Autosave will be. Autosave data will be lost. Blah, blah, blah. All right. We are going to save that. We're gonna do normal. And uh, yeah. Also, I think I'm hearing myself in my mic a little bit. That's a little bit weird. Not gonna lie. You usually don't hear yourself when you're talking and recording in your mic, in your headset or whatever. All right. Allows for quick turns. I'm not that good at Resident Evil anymore. I haven't played a good Resident Evil game since Resident Evil 4. Resident Evil 5 was okay and fun. Still. Feels good to come back. So, do mind my, um, fuck-ups a little bit. Because I am going to mess up a lot, because Resident Evil is still a little bit weird to me, and I still can't get used to it that much. Also, I will be putting this entire Let's Play in 1080p, 60 frames per second. If, they, if, if YouTube will allow me to put my video in 60 frames again, because I did some weird thing with their system, I don't know how, but I got 60 frames out of a video on my main channel. Main channel is in the description, just to let y'all know. Incredible. The Queen's also, because I'm putting it in 1080p, and also putting it at 60 frames per second, Let's find a it may not look that all that great, because really the human eye really can't see in plus. It's not really the human eye can't see, it's just that YouTube really does not show you the 60 frames per second. So, when you see it, it might look a little bit different. I, I, I've tried my best right now with YouTube. YouTube's a little bit weird. I'm, I'm still trying to get my stuff so I can start streaming on Twitch. But when I get all of that, I will make, um one video and then put it on both my LP channel and my multiplayer channel that I am streaming. Also, tell me how the quality looks. I know for a fact, estimated times that I am going to die in this LP is about 20. I'm just guessing right now, 20. When I played Resident Evil 5, I literally didn't even die more than five times in the entire game. Hopefully I can get my thing back on track. Hopefully I don't fuck up that much. There is no sprint. This is why I don't like that about this game. There is no sprint which sucks ass. Everything is gonna be a little bit slow. Don't know where everything is at. 
So we'll just see how it goes. If I die, just understand that I haven't played Resident Evil in a very long time. Well, I already know there's gonna be a lot of scary parts because Resident Evil Revelation has a lot of fucking scary parts. Um, okay, I'm just trying to remember the buttons. Quick turn. Reload is square. What does circle do? Exactly nothing. I think, I think X picks up everything. Hold up one second, guys. Okay, thought I had to sneeze. My nose has been killing me for a little bit. We'll figure out the rest of the buttons on the way. I really can't remember that much. I don't think we're alone. That fucking slime is disgusting. So yeah, there are certain sections where you are by yourself in this game, and you you don't have a teammate behind you. So around that sec, those sections is actually when the game is gonna be the most scariest. Fucking creep. Just to let y'all know about that. So. There's Most blood likely. coming from the ducks. Ew, shit. Ew. That's foul. Arm. Never seen a mutation like this. Alright. That's pretty fucking weird. But yeah. Most likely when that happens is when I'm going to be the most scary, scared of F. My friend said he, he already beat this game and it wasn't really that hard. It's not working. Oh, uh, no fucking shit. So he beat it very fast because he's used to kind of scary games, but the thing with me is that I'm a bitch when it comes to scary games, so you may hear a lot of screaming, may hear a lot of bitching, and all of that, but you already know, man. Resident Evil, bro. So do mind my fuck-ups a lot when I'm playing this game, because I might not be the best at it, but I will be trying my best to actually get this done. Hopefully I don't fuck up. I do got plans for the future. And I don't really know how long this Let's Play is gonna be. It's gonna be how long it's gonna be. Ooh. Oh man, fucking big ass rats. The power still works here. Somewhat, some way. Okay, I'm gonna check every corner because you can't lift anything on the stage. Got some ammo. How much bullets do I have? 24, we're good. Okay, okay. Alright. Parker, give me a hand here. Sure, no problem. Oh god. Also because I'm rendering it in 60 frames per second though it might not show it, but it is whatever, man. YouTube doesn't show shit. It might show it when they actually allow people to actually put their videos in, like, YouTube to actually make the videos show the 60 frames per second, because no really, what? if you want 60 frames per Give second to really, really show, you have to, like, pay YouTube, which some of the big streamers are doing, like Rad Brad and a couple of other people, but it's not really going to be a bit. <laughs> being such a bitch, nigga. Just a little bit of slime. You got more balls than you, homie. So, as I was saying, so yeah, so certain people have it, and they won't really allow it for everybody until like around 2016, 2017, when they actually really, really allow people to actually show their videos. Damn, that ass. So, yeah, we'll have to wait until them for actually if register that crap. I'm not gonna lie, at first, that shit scared the shit out of me. I know aiming at the head really works best. Shit. Fuck. Also, my reticle is a little bit fast, so it's gonna take me a second to get used to that. Really, you really don't have to worry about accuracy. Accuracy is really not the importance in this game. It's all about shooting it and getting it dead. I would recommend shooting them in the legs or the head, but the head is kind of hard to get. And they this keep fucking good. moving around. Where are you, Chris? Resident Evil Revelation. All right, and that was it for the prologue, or prelogue, whatever they fucking call it. Episode one, Into the Depths. Wow, ten minutes in, and I'm already like kind of close to like where I left off. <laughs>
Also, today is um, September 18th, 2014. It is 3.50 p.m. in the evening. And yeah, it, it, it is. I literally did not say that. <laughs> and actually, really, today, I just really was in the. This sunny I just and had the. Mediterranean coast oh my god, was how should I say one it? Of the world's greatest structures. I had. I just really wanted to record because I had like a whole bunch of videos already recorded on my multiplayer channel and my let's play channel. The floating but city of I just really enjoy recording a and sustainable like, metropolis operating on a massive no one like the human, the human, right? The the human being. Technologies. When they can't, Never when they, when they can't do something, they really, really want to do it. To an entire city. And that's what's happening to me. But I just really, really want to record. Well, so I recorded this. I was gonna wait until I completely done my let's play on. I mean, I've completely uploaded my let's play on get that Radio virus, HD for the PlayStation but Three. But that was like a week. Ago. That was like two, like almost a week or two ago that I actually was finished recording it. So. I got the so FBC, bored not recording, so I just decided to record. Operating under the tell that. Of the US Enough of me talking. Let me hear. Let's just hear what they got to say. The, attack. the BSAA, a counter bioterror NGO, which operates independently of the interests of any one country, went in as observers to assist the FBC. Realizing the need for immediate and decisive action, Supreme Local Headquarters issued the order to use the city's solar energy matrix on itself. Media outlets around Damn. the world began to refer to the incident as the Terra Grigia Panic. Use your own Following technology the incident, on yourself. The FBC announced it has successfully disbanded this the game terrorist looks really group good for a called Veltro. Game. Should have probably got it on PC. It is I probably could have like fucking maxed the hell out of the graphics. Sense of calm and security is finally returning to the but people. It still looks great on P on PlayStation. But as you can see, the lost city of Terra Grigia remains inaccessible, a silent and potent symbol of the threat that bioterror poses for people around the world. Damn, she was one very hot blonde. Are hot. That's all I 